Welcome back. You are watching Eagle News International from Canada. I am Cara Cabuso Pascual from St. John, New Brunswick. Philippine Foreign Affairs Under Secretaries Sara Lou Ariola and Ernie Abelia recently hosted a virtual town hall for Hawaii, where topics range from the current status of Filipinos during the pandemic to their increasing presence in various professions and industries. Eagle News correspondent Alfred Asenas from our Hawaii Bureau provides a recap. Sabi nga nila, kayang-kaya ng Filipino yan. Yes, we are hurt, we are hit, but uh, we will survive. During the Hawaii OFW Town Hall hosted by the Philippine Department of Foreign Affairs, Honolulu Consul General Joselito Jimeno provided an update on the status of Filipinos in the Aloha State. Uh, we number about 370,000 Filipinos, 26% uh, of the 1.4 million population of Hawaii. And Filipinos are the second largest ethnic community. And they represent the biggest non-white ethnic group. In terms of COVID uh, cases, Hawaii surpassed 26,000 which is 1 point and 1.6 percent have died. Again, Filipinos rank second highest, both in terms of infections, 19 percent in deaths. Because of the pandemic, the consulate has uh, pivoted its engagement with the community and our frontline services are shifted to online forums. Let me just tell you about the engagement we have with the Filipino community, which are on two strategic priorities, empowerment and image building. Our engagement is both generational and spectral. We endeavor to reach first generation to the young professionals and the youth. We collaborate on many activities with Filipino and Filipino American businesses cultural, educational, and social civic organizations in Hawaii. The consulate does not encounter many ATN cases because, as I said, most of them are permanent residents and immigrants. But we continue to look at the situation of the K-1 visa holders. These are the student participants in the exchange this is a program whose programs are prematurely terminated. Our ATN section provided them with necessary information for their travel to the Philippines. We also regularly monitor the condition of around 300 Filipino fishermen in Hawaii, and we conduct goodwill visits to check on their welfare. The Filipinos' uh, survival instinct, you know, will always uh, be here. Other guest speakers in the virtual gathering included State Senator Benet Misalucha, who stressed on the importance of more Filipino representation in government, University of Hawaii Program Director Dr. Agnes Malate on the significant roles and contributions of Filipinos in Hawaii's history. Cheryl Yoshimura, who represents the large population of Filipino healthcare workers in the state, and Gemma Weinstein, on behalf of Filipino employees in Hawaii's multi-billion dollar travel and tourism industries. Reporting from Honolulu, Hawaii, I'm Alfred Asenas, Eagle News. We live in interesting times. Back to you.